Good evening. I'm here to talk about Jane's assessment results. She completed the WISC-4 evaluation secondary to experiencing academic difficulties. One of her most recent standardized tests indicated that she scored below average in reading, math, and language compared to her peers. Her general cognitive ability is within the average range of intellectual functioning. Her overall thinking and reasoning abilities exceed those of approximately 42% of children her age. This indicates that her ability to think with words is comparable to her ability to reason without the use of words. Both her verbal and nonverbal reasoning abilities are in the average range, which indicates that she is producing concept formation, visual perceptions, completing simultaneous processing, and using visual motor coordination adequately for children her age. While she scored in the low average range for her memory abilities, she still scored higher than 18% of her peers. Her difficulty when asked to repeat long strings of numbers backwards is evidence of weak mental control. Now, weak mental control may make the processing of complex information more time-consuming for Jane and will drain her mental energies more quickly compared to kids her age. And perhaps this explains the more frequent errors on a variety of learning tasks. When it comes to math, she scored significantly higher than her peers, indicating strong abilities in numerical operations and mathematics reasoning. We also learned that she scored an average range, but above 20%, 27% of her peers in the processing abilities section. Processing visual material quickly is an ability that Jane performs poorly at compared to her re verbal reasoning. The pattern of processing speed ability lower than verbal comprehension is more common among students who are experiencing academic difficulties than among those who are not. She scored the best in the nonverbal reasoning task, but the lowest in block design. So for future recommendations, I would encourage Jane to frequently work on information that must be remembered. Um, I believe she may benefit from chunking information together. So instead of doing like five, 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 six, seven, eight, go with 555-5678. Five, 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 I would also encourage family involvement and support when completing homework assignments. I would encourage the family to look into tutoring sessions slowly at first and then work her way up depending on how much um, she needs assistance and how she responds. Lastly, I would recommend reevaluation within a six-month time frame. Thank you for listening and let me know if you have questions.